Hello. Welcome to Jesus for All 2. God's Word, Your Daily Bread, the Bible. For August 23rd, 2023. Here, you will hear daily readings of God's Word, the Bible, the Bread of Life. With the goal of hearing all of the Bible by the end of December 2023, increasing our faith and pleasing the Heavenly Father. For the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 6 reads, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 17, advises, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Further, the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7 reads, For we walk by faith, not by sight, living our lives in a manner consistent with our confident belief in God's promises. Amen. Hallelujah and glory to God in the highest. The book of John chapter 14, verse 6 through 14 reads, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also, and from now on you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is sufficient for us. Verse 9, Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, Show us the Father? Verse 10, Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father in me, the Father who dwells in me, does the works. Verse 11, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. Verse 12, most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. And the book of John, chapter 15, If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. Verse 17, The Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. Verse 18, I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. Amen. And John 15, 7, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. And so the words of life that we shall hear today, August 23rd, are Psalm 80, from the book of Isaiah, chapter 25, verse 1 through chapter 26, verse 21, from the book of New Testament, reading the book of Acts, chapter 14, verse 1 through 28, and from the book of Job, chapter 3, verse 1 through chapter 4, verse 21. All scriptures are taken from the New King James Version of the Bible, Unless otherwise noted, copyright 1982 by Thomas Nelson Incorporated, used by permission, all rights reserved. And there were readings today from the Amplified Version of the Bible. I'd like to thank every listener of Jesus for All too. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that your faith is increasing, your knowledge of the promises of God, and that you are receiving the grace to walk in those promises that you may live that abundant life that our Lord and Savior came that we might live as he said in the book of John chapter 10 verse 10 and now Psalm 80 and it reads give ear O shepherd of Israel you who led Joseph like a flock you who dwell between the cherub cherubim shine forth before Ephraim Benjamin and Manasseh Stir up your strength. <clears throat> Restore us, O God. Cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry against the prayer of your people? You have fed them with the bread of tears, and given them tears to drink in great measure. 
You have made us a strife to our neighbors, and our enemies laugh among us, among themselves. Verse 7, Restore us, O God of hosts. Cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. You have brought a vine out of Egypt. You have cast out the nations and planted it. Verse 9, You prepared room for it, and caused it to take deep root. And it filled the land. The hills were covered with its shadow, and mighty cedars with its bows. She sent out her bows to the sea, and her branches to the river. Verse 12. Why have you broken down her hedges, so that all who pass by the way pluck her fruit? The boar out of the woods uproots it, and the wild beast of the field devours it. Return, we beseech you, O God of hosts. Look down from heaven and see, and visit this vine and the vineyard which your right hand has planted, and the branch that you made strong for yourself. It is burned with fire, it is cut down. They perish at the rebuke of your countenance. Verse 17. Let your hand be upon the man of your right hand, upon the son of man whom you made strong for yourself. Then we will not turn back from you. Revive us, and we will call upon your name. Verse 19 and last, Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. Amen. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. As we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, are every of us the hearers. And now, the book of Isaiah. Continuing today with chapter twenty. The book of Isaiah, chapter 25. The book of Isaiah, chapter 25. And it reads, O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name. For you have done wonderful things. Your counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. For you have made a city a ruin, a fortified city a ruin, a palace of foreigners to be a city no more. It will never be rebuilt. Therefore the strong people will glorify you. The city of the terrible nations will fear you. For you have, made, you have been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in, this, in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shade from the heat. For the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall. You will reduce the noise of aliens as heat in a dry place, as heat in the shadow of a, sh of a cloud. The song of the terrible ones will be diminished. Your six, and in this mountain the Lord of hosts will make for all people a feast of choice pieces, a feast of wines on the lees, of fat things full of marrow, of well-refined wines on the lees. Verse 7, And he will destroy on this mountain the surface of the covering cast over all people, and the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces, the rebuke of his people. He will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. Verse 9, And it will be said in that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Verse 10, For on this mountain the hand of the Lord will rest, and Moab shall be trampled down under him, as straw is trampled down for the refuse heap. And he will spread out his hands in their midst as a swimmer reaches out to swim. And he will bring down their pride, together with the trickery of their hands. Verse 12, The fortress of the high fort of your walls he will bring down, lay low, and bring to the ground, down to the dust. Chapter 26. In that day this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. God will appoint salvation for walls and bulwarks. Open the gates that the righteous nation which keeps the truth may enter in. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for in Yah the Lord is everlasting strength. For he brings down those who dwell on high. The lofty city he lays it low. 
lays it low to the ground he brings it down to the dust the foot shall tread it down the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy verse 7 the way of the just is unrighteousness O most upright you weigh the path of the just yes in the way of your judgments O Lord we have waited for you the desire of our soul is for your name and for the remembrance of you verse 9 with my soul I have desired you in the night yes by my spirit within me I will seek you early for when your judgments are in the earth the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness verse 10 let grace be shown to the wicked yet he will not learn righteousness in the land of uprightness he will deal unjustly and will not uphold the majesty of the lord verse 11 lord when your hand is lifted up they will not see but they will see and be ashamed for their envy of people yes the fire of your enemy shall devour them verse 12 lord you will establish peace for us for you have also done all your work in us o lord our god masters besides you have had dominion over us but by you only we make mention of your name they are dead they will not live they are deceased they will not rise therefore you have punished and destroyed them and made all their memory to perish you have increased the nation o lord you have increased the nation you are glorified you have expanded all the borders of the land verse 16 lord in trouble they have visited you they poured out a prayer when your chastening was upon them verse 17 as a woman with child is in pain and cries out in her pangs when she draws near the time of her delivery so have we been in your sight o lord we have been with child we have been in pain we have as it were brought forth wind we have not accomplished any deliverance in the earth nor have the inhabitants of the world fallen verse 19 your dead shall live together with my dead body they shall arise awake and sing you who dwell in dust for your dew is like the dew of herbs and the earth shall cast out the dead come my people enter your chambers and shut your doors behind you hide yourself as it were for a little moment until the indignation is past verse 21 and last for behold the lord comes out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity the earth will also disclose her blood and will no more cover her slain amen and in the mighty name of jesus christ this word is already blessed as we pray in the name of jesus christ our every of us to hear us thank you father for opening the ears of all of us your children that we may hear and see in the spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ we have prayed amen amen and amen and walk in understanding lord hallelujah and glory to god in the highest and now chapter 14 from the book of acts the New Testament reading and it reads now it happened in Iconium that they went together to the synagogue of the Jews and so spoke that a great multitude both of the Jews and of the Greeks believed but the unbelieving Jews stirred up the Gentiles and poisoned their minds against the brethren therefore they stayed there a long time speaking boldly in the Lord who was bearing witness to the word of his grace granting signs and wonders to be done by their hands. Amen. Hallelujah. And glory to God in the highest. Thank you, Father, for your word. Verse 4. But the multitude of the city was divided, part sided with the Jews and part with the apostles. And when a violent attempt was made by both the Gentiles and the Jews with their rulers to abuse and stone them, 
they became aware of it and fled to Lystra and Derby, cities of Lyconia and to the surrounding region. Verse 7. And they were preaching the gospel there. Verse 8. And in Lystra a certain man without strength in his feet was sitting, a cripple from his mother's womb, who had never walked. This man heard Paul speaking. Paul, observing him intently and seeing that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. And he leaped and walked. Now when the people saw what Paul had done, they raised their voices, saying in the Lyconian language, The gods have come down to us in the likeness of men. And Barnabas they called Zeus and Paul Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. Then the priest of Zeus, whose temple was in front of their city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates, intending to sacrifice with the multitudes. But when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard this, they tore their clothes and ran in among the multitude, crying out and saying, Men, why are you doing these things? We are also men with the same nature as you, and preach to you that you should turn from these useless things to the living God, who made the heaven and the earth, the sea, and all things that are in them who in bygone generations allowed all nations to walk in their own ways. Verse 17, Nevertheless, he did not leave himself without witnesses, in that he did good, gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons, filling our hearts with food and gladness. And with these sayings they could scarcely restrain the multitudes from sacrificing to them. 19. Then Jews from Antioch and Iconium came there, and having persuaded the multitudes, they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing him to be dead. However, when the disciples gathered around him, he rose up and went into the city, and the next day he departed with Barnabas to Derbe. Verse 21. And when they had preached the gospel to that city and made many disciples, they returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch strengthening the souls of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the faith, and saying, We must through many tribulations enter the kingdom of God. So when they had appointed elders in every church and prayed with fasting, they, commanded, they commended them to the Lord in whom they had believed. And after they had passed through Sidia, they came to Pamphylia. Now when they had preached the word in Perga, they went down to Italia, and from there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work which they had completed. Verse 27, Now when they had come and gathered the church together, they reported all that God had done with them, and that he had opened doors of faith to the Gentiles. So they stayed there a long time with the disciples. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ are every of us the hearers. Hallelujah and glory to God in the highest. And now the book of Job. The book of Job continuing today with chapter 3, the book of Job, chapter 3. And the night in which it was said, A male child is conceived. May that day be darkness, may God above not seek it. May the light shine, nor the light shine upon it. May darkness and the shadow of death claim it. May a cloud settle on it, may the blackness of the day terrify it. As for that night, may darkness seize it, may it not rejoice among the days of the year, may it not come into the number of the mouths. Verse 7. Oh, may that night be barren, may no joyful shout come into it, may those curse it who curse the day, those who are ready to arouse Leviathan. May the stars of its morning be dark, may it look for light, but have none, and not see the dawning of the day. Verse 10. Because it did not shut up the doors of my mother's womb, nor hide sorrow from my eyes. 11. Why did I not die at birth? Why did I not perish when I came from the womb? Verse 12. Why did the knees receive me, or why the breast that I should nurse? For now I would have lain still and been quiet, and would have been asleep. Then I would have been at rest with kings and counselors of the earth who built ruins for themselves, or with princes who had gold, who filled their houses with silver, 
Or why was I not hidden like a stillborn child, like infants who never saw light? There the wicked cease from troubling, and there the weary are at rest. There the prisoners rest together, they do not hear the voice of the oppressor. The small and greater there, and the servant is free from his master. Verse 20. Why is light given to him who is in misery, and life to the bitter of soul? Who long for death, but it does not come, and search for it more than hidden treasures. Verse 22. Who rejoice exceedingly, and are glad when they can find the grave. Why is light given to a man whose way is hidden, and whom God has hedged in? For my sighing comes before I eat, and my groanings pour out like water. For the thing I greatly feared has come upon me, and what I dreaded has happened to me. Verse 26, I am not at ease, nor am I quiet. I have no rest, for trouble comes. Chapter 4 Then Eliphaz the Timnite answered and said, if, one's attempts, if one attempts a word with you, will you become weary? Who can withhold himself from speaking? Surely you have instructed many, and you have strengthened weak hands. Your words have upheld him who was stumbling, and you have strengthened the feeble knees. But now it comes upon you, and you are weary. It touches you, and you are troubled. Is not your reverence your confidence, and the integrity of your way your hope? Verse 7. Remember now, who ever perished being innocent, or where were the upright ever cut off? Even as I have seen those who plow iniquity and sow trouble reap the same. By the blast of God they perish, and by the breath of his anger they are consumed. The roaring of the lion, the voice of the fierce lion, and the teeth of the young lions are broken. The old lion perishes for lack of prey, and the cubs of the lioness are scattered. Verse 12. Now a word was secretly brought to me, and my ear received a whisper of it. In disquieting thoughts from the visions of the night, when deep sleep falls on men, fear came upon me and trembling, which made all my bones shake. Then a spirit passed before my face. The hair on my body stood up. It stood still, but I could not discern its appearance. A form was before my eyes. There was silence. Then I heard a voice saying, can a mortal be more righteous than God? Can a man be more pure than his maker? If he puts no trust in his servants, if he charges his angels with error, how much more those who dwell in houses of clay, whose foundation is in the dust, who are crushed before a moth? They are broken in pieces from morning till evening. They perish forever with no one regarding. Verse 21 and last for today. Does not their own excellence go away? They die even without wisdom. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. As we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, are every of us the hearers. Hallelujah. And glory to God in the highest. And now, Psalm 121. In the Amplified. And it reads, I will lift up my eyes to the hills around Jerusalem, to sacred Mount Zion and Mount Moriah, from which shall my help come. Verse 2. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip or be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand, the side not carrying a shield. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. Verse 7. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in. From this time forth and forevermore. Amen. Amen and amen. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. As we pray in Jesus' name, are every of us the hearer. And we thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for the book of Psalm, chapter 107, verse 20. And it reads, He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destruction. Father, we thank you for delivering us from every destruction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that as we have heard your word, which is the spirit of truth, we have been healed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. And let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you made heaven and the earth. Our help comes from you. 
Thank you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, for not allowing our foot to be moved. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, for keeping us from all our enemies, not allowing the sun to strike us by day, nor the moon by night. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for protecting us from all evil and preserving our soul. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, for preserving our going out and our coming in from now and even forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed and believed and thank you and give you glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name.